Newsletters can be an amazing marketing tool for your business, side hustle, or even become million dollar businesses on their own. Some have even been sold for tens of millions. Like how, how big is the company now? Yeah, 70, 75 million of revenue this year, uh, double digit profit. And that's great. But how do you start a newsletter from zero? I'm gonna break that down for you in today's video. I recently made a video about how to use Beehive and why it's a great newsletter platform. Lots of you commented and said you loved the video, but the main question you had was how to start from zero. So I'm gonna take you through that day by day, what I would do to launch a newsletter from zero. I have you used this exact strategy to launch a newsletter for our business that now has 15,000 subscribers and my personal newsletter where I have over 4,000 subscribers after just a few short months. Also, many people think they should start with a lead magnet. Wrong. That comes later. I'm going to share with you some things I tried that didn't work at all so you can save yourself the hassle and the heartache. Finally, I will give you some ideas regarding making money and how you might be able to do that sooner than you think. Okay, so let's start at day one. Right now, there is absolutely no one on my newsletter and no one cares about the newsletter either. So I start brainstorming ideas for what I would write about. I like talking about business, finance, but most of all, marketing. So this is what I have spent years obsessing over and that would be great for it to be my topic that I focus on. I ran this idea past my partner, past a few friends, and they said, yes, great idea. You know, we always take notes when you talk about marketing, So there we go, I have my first three subscribers. The next step is to think, can this achieve a big enough size for it to be worth my time? So I pinched this next tip from Cody Sanchez, and she mentioned something called the three C's, which I think sums up the point really nicely. So you need curiosity, you need a crowd, and you need cash. So curiosity is the first thing. Is this something that you like to learn about, talk about, research? Because it's gonna take up a lot of your time, so you need to enjoy it. And then the second part is crowd. So is there a big enough market for the newsletter that you could actually make some money from this, either from the newsletter itself or through a business where you sell products or services? So once I had all of this in the bag, I signed up to Beehive and got the ball rolling. It's just a few simple clicks. I will link below to a full tutorial video that shows you how to sign up if you want a step-by-step -step guide for how to get started there. Okay, so I'm kicking off day two with three people on my newsletter. Not much of a newsletter at this point. So my next step was to go through my email contact list. So I did this on Apple Mail my, using my iPhone contact list and I thought to myself who would be interested in learning more about marketing. So from that I made a quick list. What I did was wrote out a quick intro email to everyone. I kept it really simple, really straightforward. I just said, hey friends, family, colleagues. As you know, I've been a fractional CMO for years and I'm the guy you come to for marketing inspiration and advice. I'm now gonna put all of this advice along with some great tools into a weekly email. It's gonna be less than five minutes to read so you can digest it easily and actually use those tips. If it sounds good, then sign up here. And of course, I put a link to my website and I added, if not, don't worry, I'll only be a little bit offended, Patrick. So I sent that off to around about 250 people. Around 100 people signed up, so that's fantastic. I was then at 103 subscribers. Okay, so day three. I needed to push things a bit more to really let that ball pick up some pace. So I went on to LinkedIn, and if you're anything like me, you will no doubt have a number of contacts on LinkedIn. So what I did is I DM'd and emailed a bunch of these contacts
apps that I thought might be interested in the newsletter. They were either friends, old colleagues, founders, CEOs, marketers that would benefit from the newsletter. So this got me another 50 or so subscribers. So now I was at 153 subscribers. So the ball is rolling, but again, I still needed to juice things up more and push things a little bit further. Okay, so this brings us on to day number four at this point. And what I decided to do was to reach out to some other contacts who either had marketing blogs, small business blogs, newsletters themselves. And I said, look, I'll write some content for your audience about marketing. I'll write everything. I'll make it relevant. You don't have to do anything at all. You don't even have to pay me. Could I just add a link to my newsletter at the bottom of the post or the newsletter? Now, this one, we'll find out how well it works a little bit later on in the video, as of course, we needed some time for people to send the emails out, post the blogs, etc. Okay, so now we are at day number five. And so far, these strategies have got us to 163 subscribers. And as I'm growing the newsletter, I'm writing more and more emails. So people are sharing it with others, and that is attracting a few subscribers here and there. So we've got a good start here, but the next thing I did really supercharged my efforts and allowed me to access more people outside of my network. Those were groups, specifically Facebook groups and LinkedIn in groups. So here, step by step is exactly how you do it. First up, you need to find relevant groups. So I did this by looking in the search box for marketing, digital marketing, and other keywords that were relevant to my audience. Then I went through and joined all the groups on Facebook. You will often have to verify by saying why you want to join and answer some of the questions. Really pay attention because they put them in there to trip you up to make sure you're actually reading them. The other thing I would say, point number three, is check the guidelines. And some groups won't let you post certain types of content. Just don't join those groups. It will be a waste of your time. A lot of people join them, try and post. They're not going to let you just save your time. So number four is once they have given you access, you can then post the first 200, 300 words of your newsletter article as a post. Make sure this is gripping, gives some value. But the goal here is to really make the reader want to read the full article. So at the end of that post, you pop a link in there that goes back to your newsletter where if they sign up, they can get the full article. Doing this added another 300 subscribers to my email list. Okay, so day number six, and we have 463 subscribers at this point. Things are starting to take off. So how do you build on this and take it forward over the coming weeks, months, and years to keep growing your newsletter? Well, referrals are key, and this is why I use Beehive, because it's so easy to build into the newsletter. With a few clicks of a button, you can offer subscribers a reward for referrals referring other subscribers to your newsletter. So this creates kind of a viral loop that brings more people to your newsletter. It is a version of a lead magnet, essentially. Usually people use this to get cold email signups, but there is a way to use a lead magnet to get your existing subscribers to do the legwork for you. And I will now explain this in more depth. Okay, now we're on to day number seven, and this is where we can talk lead magnets. There are two steps to lead magnets in this part of the video. So here is how I would approach the lead magnet. It needs to be something that you can give away to your audience. A lot of people get this wrong by giving away bronze or, some, or silver. What I mean by that is something that's not that great. What you need to do is give the gold away. And if you are using your newsletter to sell products or services, then those should be the platform. Ultimately, what I mean here is give away a lot of value so that there is a reason for other people to come to the newsletter for what they're going to get. Now, first lead magnet, you can set up a lead magnet on your website that is a pop-up that gets people when they land on the page itself. So that's the first type of lead magnet. Now, I would encourage you to make it sexy. So something like unlock these marketing secrets. Then you also want a lead magnet or a 
referral incentive inside your newsletter. So this is lead magnet number two. For example, in our business newsletter, if readers refer 10 people, they get an in-depth review of their book for free. And we normally charge 150 pounds for this. So it's a huge incentive to refer other people because they will get a really good benefit themselves. And this is how you leverage your existing readers and incentivize them to share your newsletter. So this worked well and it got me another the 70 subscribers. Okay, on to day number eight, and we are at 533 subscribers. So now we need to optimize when people sign up for the newsletter. What I would do here is I would have a sign up sequence where you share your best writing. You want these emails to be so good, you know, bursting with golden nuggets that people can't help but share them with their friends. So things had been going pretty well, but then I came on to day number nine and this is where things didn't go so well. So I thought I would try Reddit. It's a platform where writing is key and I thought maybe people would like to hear about my newsletter there. The problem is that they are so against anyone posting links or anything remotely self-promoting that it gets taken down right away. I did not get on with that platform at all. I spent a lot of time writing posts for there, putting things up on there, trying different subreddits. It all just got either taken down or people didn't respond to it well because it was seen as self-promotion. So save yourself the hassle, just avoid that platform altogether. So after the failure on day number nine, we're at day number 10. And I realized I needed to post more and on the right platform. So I decided to focus all of my attention on Twitter and LinkedIn. You can use other platforms, but these worked well for me. And what I would say, no matter the platform you choose, consistency is the main thing. Also, it won't be easy going. I've had posts take off and then I've had others that it was completely flop. And it can be really disheartening, almost a bit embarrassing in all honesty, but you just need to keep pushing and post again the next day. So at the end of day 10, we are sitting at 733 subscribers. Where did the extra subscribers come from? Well, they came from those blog posts, the newsletter swaps that I did earlier. Those have started to pay dividends. So what would I do over the coming days? What would I do going forward? So there's a few things I would recommend that I haven't done yet myself or that I haven't done enough of. Things like getting on podcasts, newsletter swaps, collaborations on Instagram or with other businesses that need user-generated content. Make sure somewhere to link your newsletter and set up a specific URL. What I mean by that is a URL that goes to a specific lead magnet. So not just linking back to yournewsletter.com, but to really get 10x the results is to link to mynewsletter.com forward slash, you know, get this free thing and then have something free that you give away and that they get once they actually put their email in there, you know, a free guide, a discount, that type of thing. I wish I had done that sooner. If you're now ready to go ahead and start a newsletter to promote your business, then go ahead and check out the video on screen now where I talk you through exactly how to set one up on Beehive step-by-step. -step. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.